This is Judy with Real Time with IPC on the floor of Apex Expo. Today is my honor and delight to be with John Ranieri of Rogers Corporation, who is a business development manager. And today um, we're going to ask John about Rogers and what's new and what's going on here at the show. So welcome, John. Thank and you, Judy. Um, for folks that don't know, just give us a quick overview of the uh, laminate and circuit materials that Rogers manufactures. Sure, yeah, so you know, Rogers is a global uh, specialty materials manufacturer. Um, we focus on engineered solutions for specific applications and uh, I'm part of the advanced uh, uh, connectivity solutions division and we really focus on printed circuit board, mater board materials, so that's laminate and prepreg materials that make up the substrate of the printed circuit board. Right. Um, we are, we've been a leader in the RF uh, uh, market space and we're now working on moving into the uh, power electronics market space as well. So tell us what you're highlighting here at the show. Yeah, so we're highlighting the uh, 92ml series of therm thermally conductive epoxy materials. Um, and you know this again serves the power electronics market um, and you know in the power electronics market what's really important um, it's a little bit different than RF you know we're we're talking about here routing and um, converting uh, power rather than RF signals right, right? Um, and so what's really important uh, is thermal management um, these boards get very hot because the ICs involved are um, routing a lot of power and so what designers do is they use a lot of different techniques to um, to, to manage the thermal uh, the thermal performance. Uh, the, the techniques involved are like heat sinks, um, heat pipes, different types of thermal spreaders like graphite spreaders for example, um, and in some situations they actually use active cooling so that would be like putting a fan across the, across right. the circuit board or maybe um, using some sort of a liquid cooling with a heat exchanger. Uh -huh. um, and you know the issue with all these different types of thermal management techniques is that first of all they're costly of course um, and also they add a lot of weight and a lot of bulk to the circuit. So you uh -huh. have a regular circuit and then you're putting something else on it in order to manage the thermal performance. Um, our solution is 92ml and 92ml is actually a thermally conductive PCB material and the, that material actually uh, has a high thermal conductivity. It's like 2 watts per meter Kelvin in the Z axis and 3.5 watts per meter Kelvin in the X and Y axis. And what that does is it conducts the heat through the circuit board and it actually spreads the heat out uh, um, over the surface of the circuit board. So that allows you to keep the junction temperature very cool without any, adding any additional cost or weight or taking up any additional space. So in the, in the power electronics market, what specifically, I'm thinking maybe automotive, but what other um, applications specifically you know, have those high power applications? Yeah, well you definitely hit on one general uh, uh, market, which is the automotive uh, uh, market. Um, within there, you know, automotive has challenges um, with weight and space, of course, and cost, so all three, um, and then you throw in reliability as well, right. so reliability is extremely critical. Um, the, you know, the, the, the issue is is that everything that you put into a car has to be put on the car and then it's driven around for, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles, so um, every little bit of weight or space is critical. Um, so within automotive, we see um, a lot of activity with electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles. Um, and the number one application there would be uh, power converters. Um, so uh, this takes like, for example, a DC to DC converter takes 12 volt uh, uh, power and changes it to 48 volts, for example. Um, the other area in automotive is uh, uh, electronic control units. And these are the computers that uh, you, you know, essentially run cars nowadays. Your car is essentially a computer. Um, as well as routing power to, to various functions. So um, those are the two applications there. Uh, the third I mentioned is uh, LEDs. So LED right. lights all um, generate quite a bit of heat. And typically in LEDs, um, what's used is what's called um, IMS, which is insulated metal substrate. All it is is a one layer circuit board that has a dielectric and then it has aluminum underneath. So it's a, a plate of aluminum that acts, acts as a heat spreader. Um, and the last application is um, actually consumer electronics. So in handhelds um, and wearable devices, um, the outside case temperature has to be close to the temperature of your skin, like 37 to 40 degrees uh, Celsius. And so, um, you know, when the when the CPU is running very heavily, you're playing a game or you're um, maybe using a camera. 
um, the temperature of the ICs inside increases and you have to dissipate that heat somehow. And so that's another application that we see uh, using. Sounds material. like a really broad market and it timely. Is, yeah. It is. Yeah. So um, good luck here at the show. Is there, where can folks go to find out more about the 92ML and the things that you're rolling out here at the show? And Yeah, I'd suggest starting at our uh, technology support hub. So um, that's at rogerscorp.com uh, slash tech hub, T-E-C-H-U-B. And there you can find articles and videos, um, white papers and data sheets, uh, all the information that you need to, um, to learn more about the product. Great. And if you want, you can contact a sales engineer that will help you, you know, with the design uh, of your product as well through the tech. Okay. Hub. Well, thank you very much. It's been great to catch up with you, and good luck with your show. Thank you. And the 92ML. Thank you very much. This has been Judy Warner with Real Time with IPC and John Ranieri of Rogers Corporation.